A report from Reuters with a straight, confrontational headline which reads, Apple supplier Foxconn rejects married women from India iPhone jobs, has raised serious concerns with regard to the discriminatory practices being carried out by the Taiwanese company in India. An investigation by Reuters revealed that the Taiwanese company Foxconn systematically excludes married women from jobs at its iPhone assembly plant in Sri Perambudur, Tamil Nadu, as they have more family responsibilities than their unmarried counterparts. Let me read out a few important excerpts from the Reuters report. A Reuters investigation has found that Foxconn has systematically excluded married women from jobs at its main India iPhone assembly plant on the grounds that they have more family responsibilities than their unmarried counterparts. S. Paul, a former human resources executive at Foxconn India, said the company's executives verbally convey the recruitment rules to its Indian hiring agencies, which Foxconn tasks with scouting for candidates, bringing them in for interviews and employing them. While Indian law doesn't bar companies from discriminating in hiring based on marital status, Apple's and Foxconn's policies prohibit such practice in their supply chains. However, the Supreme Court of India, in a judgment in 2024, had ruled that terminating a woman's job because she got married amounts to gender discrimination and inequality and such practices are impermissible. Citing the company's former and current employees, the report said that family duties, pregnancy and higher absenteeism are some of the reasons why Foxconn did not hire married women at the plant located at Sri Perambudur, about 25 miles from Chennai. Many of these people also said that jewellery worn by married Hindu women could interfere with production. A former HR executive at the company said they avoided hiring married women because of cultural issues and have many issues post-marriage. Now, what did he mean by the many issues that women have post-marriage? He referred to them having babies, among other issues, as a reason for not employing married women due to the risk factor. A few employees also blamed the jewellery worn by married Hindu women as a reason for being ineligible as they thought it could interfere with production. Married Hindu women wear metal toe rings known in southern India as metti and necklaces called tali to signify the bond of marriage. And since married women would not typically remove them, these were seen as obstacles while working. They have made bizarre claims to support their discriminatory hiring practice such as electrostatic discharge could occur when metals come into contact with phone components, potentially damaging them, one current and one former Foxconn HR executive said. In its statement, Foxconn said, Married women are welcome to wear traditional metal ornaments while working in our facilities without elaborating. But Reuters could not independently ascertain whether ornaments affected the manufacturing process. The Reuters report also mentioned that the company relaxed these apparent rules of not hiring married women during high production periods and while facing labor shortage in Taiwan. It also mentioned that in some cases, hiring agencies helped women conceal their marital status. Now, this is the issue. What did Apple and Foxconn have to say about this discriminatory practice that the company had been following? An excerpt from the Reuters report. In response to questions from Reuters, Apple and Foxconn acknowledged lapses in hiring practices in 2022 and said they had worked to address the issues. All the discriminatory practices documented by Reuters at the Sri Perambudur plant, however, took place in 2023 and 2024. The companies didn't address those instances. They also didn't specify whether any of the lapses in 2022 related to the hiring of married women. In a statement, Foxconn said it vigorously refutes allegations of employment discrimination based on marital status, gender, religion or any other form. A statement from Apple said all of their suppliers in India hire married women, including Foxconn. When concerns about hiring practices were first raised in 2022, we immediately took action and worked with our supplier to conduct monthly audits to identify issues and ensure that our high standards are upheld, it added. According to the Reuters report, Foxconn outsources its hiring of workers to third-party vendors registered with the Tamil Nadu government as official service providers. The centre has taken cognizance of the Reuters report and seeked a report from state government and said that discrimination is not allowed between men and women. What we need to keep in mind here is that this report exposes the factory's hiring practices and turns the spotlight on one of the highest profile foreign investments in India. Apple, one of the world's most valuable companies, is positioning India as an alternative manufacturing base to China amid geopolitical tensions between Beijing and Washington. The government of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, for its part, sees Foxconn's iPhone factory and Apple's broader supply chain in India as helping the world's most populous country move up the economic value chain. 
But does this allow the PMK led Tamil Nadu government to turn a blind eye to the discrimination towards the women workforce on the basis of their marital status? Isn't it atrocious that the state government have been silent even after the report has been brought to public forum? That's it for now. For more such updates, keep watching our channel. This is Afreen Hussain, and you are watching India Today's So South.